What's up guys? Welcome back. Been a while since the last video again. Um, not as active here as... Nah, I'm as active as I want to be. Um, I don't want to, this to be something that I force myself into. Today is a day that didn't go as expected at all. Um, I had a plan pretty much worked out for the day, but that didn't work out. Um, I will tell you a little bit more about that later. Um, so uh, after like the four weeks of waiting, I finally got this one. More than four weeks, I think even. The Baskerville soap from Phoenix and Bao. It's not Carrie and Sarah's fault that this, this didn't arrive uh, in time. Mm, more like the Swedish postal system. It's crap. Mm, they brought me a package that was kind of broken. Um, if you look at the containers, there's some... The plastic uh, has got some hard turns. Um, the package was real nasty when it arrived. But it arrived and I'm very happy it did. Uh, with this one I also ordered two new Whitechapel. One of my favorite scents. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use it really uh, every single day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use this um, M7 inspired brush from Leo. Um, 70 Badger 30 Bore. Mm, just gonna rinse it in some, yeah, medium water, um, like that. Then I'm just gonna start to lather this up. I haven't decided on the scent yet, but I think it's nice and I can't really pinpoint what's in there, but it's, it's my kind of stuff. At least I think so. Um, we will see when I lather it up and when we get all the notes from it. So, um, yeah. Yesterday I worked out a plan for today. And the plan was to get up in time. That didn't work out. <laughs> uh, I kind of woke up at 8.30 was thinking about more like 7 hundred. Uh, well, shit happens. Um, so, 8.30, I woke up. Um, then, then I stayed in bed for like an hour or so. Uh, not in a hurry, mm, even though I kind of should have been, um, considering my today's plan. Uh, However, it, um, it has worked out pretty good anyway. Um, yes, I stayed, stayed in bed for like an hour, hour and then went to um, went out to eat, eat some breakfast. Um, just as usual, you know. Um, breakfast is not my kind of, my cup of tea. I kind of hate to eat in the morning, but you know, you have to do it to, to stay some kind of, a little bit sharp. Um, yeah, and then I had this plan to go out for a run, on like six kilometers in the woods, and bring my dog, uh, and such. And just do that for myself and stay at one of the, my my favorite spots. Uh, out in the forest uh, to just you know show you guys um, what I enjoy um, and the view I enjoy but when I got up to the forest and um, I met someone there I met a colleague and one of the best friends actually um, so and I, I kind of took a run with her instead of myself and the dog. So the dog, me and and her, we went for the run and I didn't want to, you know, stay, stay to, to do a video for you guys, sorry, but that's, that's how it got to be. Um, 
Yeah. So that happened. Um, I did run 5.5 kilometers. Was aiming for like six or seven. But I have, have had kind of, kind of bad knee uh, lately. Uh, as I said in another video, I've do, been doing some stretches and I'm actually pretty close to getting back at it, which is real nice because running is one of the things I really enjoy doing, both for my, mostly for myself, um, just a way to get some alone time and push the body a little bit. Um, yeah, so 5.5 kilometers, um, a dog that's was real slow. Um, he's not a runner at all. I think it's the first time he ran that far. Uh, but yeah, it was a nice run. Um, then when I got back home, I was like, oh shit, I don't have the video. Um, should I, you know, kind of show you guys another part of what I'm doing in my free time. Um, so I took a cold bath. Um, yeah, I have been studying um, the Wim Hof met method a little bit lately and I still have a lot of studies to do on it, but honestly, cold showers, a cold bath, um, it really wakes, wakes you up and uh, it's a way to push myself as well, uh, you know, push it a little bit further, um, being able to handle the cold and such, um, really nice for me at least. Mm. So I was thinking about jumping the bathtub with cold water, bring up the phone, you know, video me um, taking the bath, then I realized it's not fun at all. Um, no, n no fun in that. So, <laughs> so I skip that part. Mm. And here we are now. Just a regular shave. Instead of you getting to see what what I'm up to. Uh, the time I'm not shaving. Um, Which I do a lot. Mm. Yeah. I shouldn't talk about the scent yet. I, I can't. I can't really describe it. Um, but it's dark. Mm. It's nice. That's it. Um, yeah. I think I could have managed to get a little bit better ladder. <sighs> but kind of just want to do the shave. No, not after the perfect, perfect ladder today. Uh, I'm not that guy that could stand for like five minutes to just get a Great, awesome ladder. Well, watching the video and how long uh, it took before <laughs> I started shaving, it was like five to six minutes. But anyway, um, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so I know I kind of promised you guys to do an unboxing of a few items that, that I'm going to get. Um, unfortunately, I haven't gotten um, most of the stuff yet. Mm, and I totally suck at waiting to open something when I get a package. I'm that guy that can hold a package for like five minutes and then I totally need to open it. 
been the same same since forever. Um, um, when I was when I was a kid, we went for my cousins like birthday parties, and they always, you know. They had this uh, table where we put all the presents for, for my cousin and then then we just waited for everyone to come, uh, we ate and then we, you know, um, ate a Swedish fika with some cake and stuff um, and then after that when you, when you know when you're tired, you want to go home, then it was time for the present opening. Uh, that's not my kind of thing. At my birth birthdays, which is the 4th of February, by the way, so you know where, when you can send me some presents. Uh, uh, yeah, when it's my birthday and I get some presents, there's like, I got them in my hand and then I'm wrapping it real fast. Um, yeah. So that's me. Um, this, the, the, this, um, and this part is, I'm not sure. Kind of like it in one way. Um, a lot of people say it's nice, um, which is nice. It's always great to hear that you look good and, and so on. Um, but it's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's not like it's itching or anything either. Um, but I'm just very used to, to, you know, always shave, have a nice smooth um, shave. Uh, screen yeah. and also when shaving this is like when I'm rinsing my face off after the first pass then all of the water is still <laughs> left in the beard making the ladder collapse right away and that sucks see there's like no ladder at the wall it's just bad ladder right now I'm adding some more soap and we'll see what we can get here um, um, by the way Whitechapel um, real nice scent uh, not not the best one Basketball is great as well, but uh, White Chapel is awesome, and I actually think it's mature with maturing with with the age of it, because if I'm smelling um, my old one um, and then smelling the new one, the old one has a much um, heavier tone to it, uh, so yeah. Um, Fucking this ladder up totally. I'm on, maybe not. Something's happening. Oh, that's better. Uh, so the razor I'm using today is uh, Max Flea. Max, Max Feely. Max Flea, um, the Japanese one. Max Flea Gold. 100 um, yeah it's a nice racer doesn't get too much love here um, it's a ton of Fuji one sure if you can see it I think you can do um, been using a lot of other racers lately um, this doesn't have a lot of shapes on it um, but it's chase Nice. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so hopefully I will take a run, um, maybe yesterday, no, yesterday, tomorrow, uh, and try to make that video on where I, one of my favorite spots to be, both when, when running and just taking a walk in the forest. Mm. And then I will spare you the video of me bathing and uh, bathing in the in the cold water in the tub. Um, instead, we're looking forward to a video where I'm going in the ocean, where it's like two to three degrees. I think that would be uh, a much better video. At least it will, will be more fun to watch because me getting in the tub when it's like 12, 12, 12 degrees Celsius in the tub, it's not that cold. Uh, I mean, it's cold, but it's not like you're freezing to death. Uh, it's pretty easy to, to handle the breathing and such. Um, it's only after like 10 minutes when you start to feel that the body is kind of shaking a little bit. And I think that's when it's time to get up um, because that's some kind of, I feel it's like um, uh, a signal uh, to the body that, that I can't, uh, that I really can't control my breath as good as I should do. Uh, To be honest, one of the reasons I'm not using this razor uh, that much is because I have a lot of razors that's so much better than this one. I mean, it's a Japanese one, it's a good one, uh, but it's not the best one. Um, I have a lot of, of others that's so much better. And this ha that has a smoother edge to it. I mean, this is a, has a good edge, but um, not the best one. Sorry, Niklas. Could be the steel or something as well. I'm not sure. I'm just. It's not a favorite, but it's it's decent. Uh, also considering giving my brothers some kind of wet shaving gear. Um, for Christmas, I mean, it's soon it's time uh, to consider what to give them. And honestly, both of them is kind of like how I am. If I want something, I buy it. Um, if I can't afford it, I still buy it. No, not really like that, but then I go find a raffle for it and try to win it. And then I don't win. Um, so I have less cash to actually get get it when I want it. Um, but my brothers kind of are like the same. They buy what they want. Uh, meaning it's hard to really find a gift for them. Um, getting, me, getting them into the wet shaving uh, stuff could be fun. Um, I have like two double-edged racers I could uh, you know, give away and you just need to find like a brush for each of them and, and then like a soap uh, for each one of them and then we will see what happens. But I think that is what I'm going to get them. Mm -hmm. Probably some stuff from 
Phoenix and Phoenix Artisan and Accountment um, kind of feel like they have a soap that's very easy to lather, um, offers great protection uh, and such. Uh, Phoenix and Bao is also um, one of my top choices when it comes to soap. Um, yeah, so we will see what happens. Um, one of them has like really long hair. I haven't shaved in like month, so I mean, he might be a little bit angry about it, but it's time for him to, you know, at least clean up the lines and such. Um, not that I haven't met him or seen it, but I think so. Um, he's not the guy that kind of care about his face, so giving him something like that might change that and um, at least you could try it. So we will see. Um, also, then I can tell my girlfriend uh, that we have to order from, from the States. We can put it in an or in order and then, you know, it's like 50 uh, USD in shipping and then there's some, some custom uh, to pay and such so it's better for me to like order a few new soaps as well and so that's my plan uh, we will see how it works out and hopefully uh, the Swedish postal service could could make sure it arrives here in time not sure about that but we'll see um thanks guys for watching sorry for bladdering uh, talking uh, a lot We'll see if like next video is some kind of unboxing, some kind of uh, get to know me a little bit better or whatever. We will just find out. Uh, would would have been fun to you know show you guys a little bit of where I'm from or not where I'm from, where I live. Um, yeah, uh, take care and uh, thanks for watching. Um, see you again soon.